Hi YouTubers, it's Jessie and today I am going to show you how to do a makeup tutorial that it only takes about 7 minutes or less to fulfill and um, right now I have no makeup on, uh, nothing is done to my face. All I did was woke up and wash my face and brush my teeth so I have no makeup on. Um, as you can see, I have fairly okay skin. It's not very acne prone right now. Um, I get acne prone sometimes when it is cold. Um, but overall, I have fair oily, um, acne um, prone free skin. Um, so, pretty. it's a pretty good canvas for makeup right now. But I don't wear makeup every day. I, I use the simplest things. And if you keep on watching, you will know what I will be using. Um, all my makeup that I use uh, for today's tutorial will be linked in the description below. So keep on watching to know what I'll do. First things first, when I do my makeup, I always have next to me a bottle of water of Aquafina. Um, I feel like every morning getting up, um, drinking water is way better than coffee. Um, some, uh, it's just a personal preference, not what I strongly believe in, but I think, um, water just make you feel fresh and, um, ready for the day while you're doing makeup. It also has so much benefits to your skin, so why not have a water bottle near your makeup uh, table. So right now I'm actually sharing my lighting with you all and um, while doing my makeup. So if you see that I'm looking this way, I'm just looking towards the mirror that I'm using and you will still see the mascara strokes that I'm using and have a very closer look. First things first, I always fill in my eyebrows. As you can see, I have some eyebrows already. Um, I just need to fill them in. Um, if you want to know a step-by-step -step technique, I will do another eyebrow uh, tutorial to show you how to get a perfect lined eyebrow step-by-step. -step. So that will be my other video. Uh, right now, we are just going into the everyday makeup. This makeup, you can use it um, to wear on a nice date. It's daytime makeup, it's very light, and it's natural. It goes well with natural lighting. Um, not a lot of cover up. So if you're looking for a lot of cover up, you can um, add more makeup. Just use the makeup that you use daily and um, add, it, add it to this look because this is a very natural daytime look and does not take um, over 10 minutes. It's good for uh, going out, um, shopping during the daytime, going on a date um, during the daytime, going to brunch, going to breakfast, um, even going to work. Like when you get up and you don't feel like, oh, I need to look good, but I don't want to spend all this time getting glammed up. People will still say, you look so good. So keep on watching. When I start doing my makeup, I always start with my brows first. And what I do is I go in with my dark brown Color Mates eyeliner pencil in black brown. You can get this color pencil at the dollar store and it's only one dollar. Um, I don't usually go for expensive makeup unless I have to. And uh, this color pencil for my eyebrows really works well for me in the shading of my eye um, brows color. So when I go in, Once I have the shape of my eyebrows filled on the outlined crease of my, the area of my face, I would go in a, with a pomade. Um, the pomade that I'm using right now is from MAC. 
in a deep dark brunette shade and the brows brush so that I use is also in MAC. Um, this is not the one that I want to use. It's also in MAC. It's, it is a 208 bristle. Um, I would want to invest in a good bristle because it what the strokes of it makes the lining of the brows so um, so pretty. So make sure you pick a very good eyebrows bristle. Next up I would use is my 24 eyebrow setting setter from um, Benefit and um, th what does this do? The eyebrow gel is supposed to lift up your eyebrows and make it look more sharp. So I can do that on the screen. And now I am going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil to line up the brows. Now you can skip, skip this step, but if you want to make your eyebrows look sharper and more defined during the day, you can use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pencil Pro and the one that I'm using is in base two color. Um, so you can actually really just step this, skip this step if you want to. And this step requires another brush, um, the Anastasia brush um, in number 20, just to go down lightly the part that you want to define. I will go back in with my pencil to make sure no lines are missed. Okay, now that my brows are done, I will now do my concealing. So what I use for concealing is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. This worked magically on the eyes. Um, it really covered dark circles, but also um, I believe there's a benefit to it where it actually um, is a treatment concealer to help with wrinkles or any under eyes um, dark circles. So anything that benefits the face, use it. The brush that I use is this brush and it works magically. Um, this brush is not from any popular brand. It's Salavi. I don't know. I got it from a local Gabriel Brothers that comes with a package. Um, but it works really well and it smooths out the concealer on my face much easier than a foundation or a concealer brush would. So, it's just what I'm used to.
so you can actually see a little difference here. And then I don't use foundation, like I say. I go in with my LA Pro Powder, and um, this is a translucent powder that I use my brush to just bake a little bit underneath the eyes to bring out the concealer that I did and just make my eye pop and my face pop during the day. And it also reduces oiliness because my face is a combination oily um, face. It is mascara time. And the mascara that I use is the Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Lash Lifting. You can get this from Ulta. And to be honest, I've been using so many expensive um, brands from Sephora with mas of mascara until my friend introduced me to this mascara and I'm hooked because it actually does what it says. Your lashes can get big and the volume curl really goes up. If you don't believe me, just continue watching to see what this does really do to my for my lashes. One more time. Now that I have worked on the brows, the concealer, the translucent powder, um, the mascara, I am now going to move on to working on my lips. What I use is Carly Cosmetics um, Lip Kit. And if you don't have time to just, let's say, line your lips, you can just use the color. Um, but make sure you have a base for your lips first. Um, I wouldn't use any kind of Vaseline or lip balm before applying this because it, it can get really dry and matte since it's a matte product um, unless you use her liquid lines and but I really like the matte look and it doesn't really um, create any crease on my uh, lips or anything when I eat or drink coffee so I'll show you how to apply on um, how I apply it on my lips as well. I'll start with the lip liner, and this color is in Kylie. Finally, it's the lip color itself, and that's the easier part. And if you have extra time, you can always add like a gloss on there, but I will keep my lips looking like this. This is the step that I missed from the beginning before concealing or doing my translucent powder. It should be the second step after the brows is to um, use the pore professional. And since I have a lot of pores, I would squeeze just a dab and now I can still do it a little later, but just to give it a little finished look. Since my skin is not acne prone, that means that I can use this and it'll cover up my pores and make it look just more flawless. Um, I don't use foundation. One thing is it clogs pores, so I just want to use something light to cover up the pores. Now to recap what I did so far, I did the brows, I did the concealing, I did the translucent powder, I did the mascara, the lip kit, Kylie lip kit, in the color shade Kylie. 
and I also use the pore professional to cover up any of my pores. The last step to this look, I am using the Morph um, blush palette and you can get this online at Morph or you can get this at the Morph store. Um, I selected uh, these beautiful shades here. They match my skin tone pretty well. I am light. I'm not light. Um, forget what I just said. I My skin tone is um, a medium to fair. So these color works really well with my skin tone. And today on this palette, I will use, to go with this simple look, I will use Sweet because it's just really not dramatic but um, it still gives me that, um, you know, sweet look. But unless I'm feeling bolder in the morning, I could go for goals because when people look at your face, your blush just pop. So, hmm, I'm going in between using sweet if I feel more mellow today, this morning, or goals. Since today I am going shopping, Christmas shopping with my hubby, my husband, I am going to just use goals because I want him to see my face a little bit more popped. And um, so I'm going to use goals. Since this is a much darker color, um, I wouldn't say go in twice and then you'll be blushing and so rosy. Um, just once will be fine. If anything shows, just smugged it a little bit and use the brush again. If you are feeling fancy and you want to add some highlighters, you can go ahead and do that. Or even use a white random lined pencil. This is from Clean Oler Color. I've used it so much and it just faded away. But um, on the corner of your eyes in the morning to make it pop, you can just draw a little line just to make your eyes look bigger and making it pop so I am going to skip the highlighter but I did go in and draw this my um, inner corner of my lids with this white pen pen um, white liner and It works just as well. So there you have it, a five minute everyday morning um, look, a very natural look with me. And I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope you will check out my eyebrows videos and other videos that I have coming up for you. Thank you.